Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Um, today I'm really excited. This is the final flip through for the um, project that I created for um, Sharon over at Mad Paper Crush, the design team. And all the information is going to be in my um, description below. So you'll know each paper that I used. You will know, um, let's see, the papers, where to go. Um, I'll give you the coupon code again for her Etsy shop. I'm going to list the other gals, um, if I haven't already, that are part of the design team because I would love to have you look at their um, projects and the papers that they used. Um, let's see, what else? What else? I think that's it. So, um, this is the final project. This is the Brimfield Hotel guest book. And I'm hoping that whoever gets this book, um, I do plan on putting it in my Etsy shop. <clears throat> um, shortly after this video runs. And it can be used, I think, in so many different ways. Um, it could just be a lovely coffee table book. You can use it as a gratitude um, book. I'm not calling it a journal. I'm actually calling it a guest book because it, it is a hotel theme. Um, it'd make a wonderful gratitude journal um, book. And it would make, you know, a lovely book for someone to use for their birthday each year to write, you'll see the tags in here, but to write memories of birthdays. Um, you could use it as a travel book yourself. Um, if you went away on a weekend trip, there's plenty of tags in here to write your memories. So the front, um, you know, as you know, it's, we you use some hardware and the sari silk, and this is Sharon's beautiful paper. Um, here, this is part of the Brimfield um, collection, the paper collection. And then on the um, file folder tags here, I thought they were a little plain, so I added some washi tape, the washi tape that I used on Sharon's um, vintage um, tags here. So this is the first two pages when you open, and I did end up putting a small piece of um, washi tape over the little brad here, which worked out really well. And then we have a tag here that you can journal on, write your memories, what you're grateful for, and that will slip right in the front pocket there. And then we have here, we have a lovely pocket, and then my ribbon embroidery that I included, which I just, I really like. And another tag. And that slips right in there. I was thinking about putting two tags per um, pocket, but I don't, I don't want to take away from, I just, I don't think overkill is good for this. And then these pages here, um, I did incorporate some quotes out of my little Victorian book, A Token of Friendship. Um, this one here is by Eleanor Roosevelt. Friendship with oneself is all important because without it, one cannot be friends with anyone else in the world. And I think that's so true that um, if you can't be friends with yourself or you can't love yourself, how can you be friends with others? Um, or have that love to give to others. So I, I just thought that was a, a lovely saying, and I thought it fit um, the book here. And then we have another pocket over here with a tag. And then on these pages here, again, I have... Um, 
what is thine is mine and all mine is thine from Plato's. And I just, I love the sari silk. I love all the sari silk peeking out and the lace. Um, I just think it looks so, so feminine, so pretty. Um, and I have Sharon's papers to thank for that. There's another tag. I was just, I'm really just so happy um, with the way this turned out. And I just, I just love um, Sharon's paper. So on this side, we have our side pocket here with two tags. Can slip right in here. And this I left, this I just left here. It's, I didn't reinforce this or anything, but I think it'll be fine just to slip your tag in here like this. So we can go this way. Let the little sorry silk hang over the side. And then again, here's another one from Samuel Taylor Coolridge. Friendship is a sheltering tree. And then on the back page, we have a pocket, the final pocket with a final tag. And then the back cover, which is just simple. Yeah, um, it's nice because you can tell this is this is the back versus the the front. So there you have it. Um, I again, I just can't say enough about um, Sharon's papers. I really, really like the way this came out. It's just um, it's a project I've never really done before, and um, a mishap um, in the beginning turned into a beautiful, into a beautiful book. Um, so thank you. I want to thank everyone for joining in and um, watching the tutorials. And if you haven't, if this is the first video, you just went right to the um, completed project. I invite you to go back and look at the tutorials and see how the book was constructed and my thought process. I think that's the most interesting part right there, how someone comes up with the idea and um, how they execute it. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, again, go down to the description and you'll find everything that you need um, if you'd like to try to make a book such as this or you want to make other projects using her amazing paper. So Thank you, everybody, for joining in. I'm excited for August's um, design team project. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. I haven't decided on the papers, but I'm sure it'll be fun, and you can follow along. I'd love to have you subscribe, comment, um, and thanks again, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.